everyone, welcome to my floss tube channel and day four of my Vlogmas Christmas countdown videos. Um, so we're here for today for day four and it's been going pretty good, I guess. I mean, we're still not even a week in, but I feel like I'm getting into a routine. Um, although I do find that the weekdays are a little bit more hectic to get done than the weekends, obviously, but hang on now, I'll get to my coffee in a sec. Mmm, so good. So let's begin. This is my coffee of the day uh, for day four, and it is a good one. Heavenly, heavenly hazelnut. It is super yum. It's, it's a good, solid, everyday, regular flavor. And it tastes heavenly. So I'm going to enjoy that. Now let's begin by selecting a gift from my gift exchange. I'm going to go buy this one. Okay. This is very cute. It even has my name because this particular gift giver um, had to make sure that uh, along with allergies and sensitivities that people got what they were supposed to get and no one got anything with an allergy. <clears throat> so she wrote our names on each one. So I, I know who it's from, but that's okay. It doesn't all have to be secret. So I got some lovely candy canes. And shall we open? Inside, oh, look at this. Inside is a lovely bag of goodies, and it looks to me like fudge or fudge brownies. Oh, it's gonna be so yum. So that is gonna be a very nice dessert for this evening. It looks, they look delicious. Awesome, can't wait for that. And then we move on to the wax melt of the day. And number four is right here in the upper corner. Oh, it just smells so divine as I get closer to it. Okay, ready? Let's punch it through here. And open the door. And, oh, such a pretty color. It's like a lavender pinkish color. Very, very pretty. Here's the color. And pop it out. I wonder what design is going to be on the back of this one. Okay, how cute is this? It's a little Santa. Oh my God, so adorable. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, this smells really lovely. Oh, that's what it is. Black cherry. I was gonna say, it sounds like something on the tip of my tongue and I can't figure out. Oh, but that's so yum. So that's a black cherry one. Okay, so. We got through our advent calendars. As we get closer towards um, Christmas, um, I think I remember telling you that I it was only a group of 10 friends and myself, so there will be a couple days without. I think I'm just going to wait till the end closer to Christmas and just have the wax melts to go through and my coffees, and then the gifts will, will finish up. And I think my gifts that got added to the pile, I'll do those at the end, and it should be good. Okay. On to the stitching portion of the evening. We've got, yesterday I was tasked with stitching one color row by row across the page. Now, the way that I interpreted that um, and how when I put that in the challenge box, um, it was to stitch one color across a row, row by row, and then move on to the next one, which in essence, it makes sense, but also it's just pretty much stitching cross country or across the page, right? So I think the next time that challenge comes around, because every challenge is in that bottle uh, two times. So next time it comes around, I think I'm going to change it a little bit and think about it in a different way, but here's what I got. So I was tasked to stitch with that challenge on little mini little dreamers tree. And so I'm going to put a before picture, but here's how much I got done. So 
I was really able to kind of fill in this triangle piece here because the page line is right here. So when it told me to stitch one color, so this is the top corner of where I was. So it said stitch one color row by row. So I went row by row and ended the page. So it was basically like cross country. So I think instead what I'm going to do next time for example, let's say it, hopefully it's a project that has regular size pages and not this very, you know, narrow linear type. Um, I think I should stitch the color all the way across that entire row of the page and then go down the next one, come back over. It seems like a lot of waste of floss because especially if you got in that first row, if you got one here, here, and here, but then in the next row down, you've got it all the way back here again. So you have to carry the floss hat back here instead of maybe jumping a couple of rows. Anyway, this is why I do these because I want to try different methods and different ways of stitching things. So we'll see how it goes. And, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And I go back to my tried and true method of diagonal cross country because that's the best and most um, functional way that I find to stitch. So that's that. Now we move on to um, day four's combo that you had to vote on on my Instagram channel at my stitch diary. It's in my stories. You get to there. I put up a poll for every day and you get to uh, pick which one you would like me to stitch on. So for day four, it was between World Travel Bookshelf and Life is an Open Book London. Uh, and world travel one. So that is what I'll be stitching on today. And shall we see what the challenge is? We're going to get out my Santa Mason jar and give it a bit of a shake and then pop out one challenge. Okay. And the challenge is stitch red. So I'm going to find all the red colors in world travel bookshelf in the section that I have in my Q snap and stitch all red or red adjacent colors. So it could be red, pink, maroon. Um, we're going to try there. So I think pattern keeper, pattern keeper is going to really help with that because you can see the colors of the symbols on the side. <clears throat> so that is my day four. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Bye, everyone.